How many people paid a dollar to see how many people paid a dollar? Dot com does exactly what its URL says it does. If you pay the creator of the site one dollar, you will be able to see how many other people also paid him a dollar. So far, that's the only thing the site does actually, except not really, because the site is currently under construction and you cannot use it. I guess that makes it more of a domg, something you can do online later maybe, guys. How about this? Let's cover some dongs, things you can do online now, guys. Got a map you wanna see turned into a globe? Or maybe just a picture of your face? Well, try maptoglobe.com. Upload an image to see it distorted so as to wrap around a sphere. Now, once that's been done, you can access various projections of the distorted image that make it flat again. Or try generating random maps to spark your imagination or plan your own planet. You can get creative with it and explore new worlds, like the world of Hogwarts on Pottermore, which gives you the chance to fly through Hogwarts using the arrow keys. If you put it on full screen and focus, it can be pretty immersive. Each of these glowing orbs teaches you something. So beware of spoilers in case you haven't read the series yet. You can click on certain areas like the Quidditch Field or Forbidden Forest, which sounds like trouble. Oh, wait, that isn't trouble. It's just Geosound, a music experiment, kind of. Drag one of the three-dimensional shapes inside one of the four loops. If you place it too high, you won't hear anything because the sound is made when an edge or corner makes contact with the pole. Hey, this kind of looks like a Quidditch hoop. <laughs> Anyways, listen to this. Oh, yeah, well, that's what I meant when I said it's kind of a music experiment, but for a definite physics experiment, check out this site where you can play around with particles and gravity wells. Gravity here is inverse proportional, so it's not an inverse square like in our 3D world. Also, the particles can bounce off the edges so they won't get flung away. If you check well collision, the well can absorb particles. It's fun, but for a rip roaring good time, check out the largest dinosaur database on the internet. If you have a dinosaur in mind that you want to learn about, type it in here. Or scroll through this list. Oh man, there are only eight? Nope. There are 1,082 dinosaurs you can look through, like the Gigant Spinosaurus. It was an herbivore and during the Jurassic period inhabited Asia. Its fossils have been found in China. Clicking on random dinosaur is a great way to learn as much as possible, because the more you know, the better. Like how no is the most used not super common word in movies. At least according to this analysis of 617 movies from the 1920s, to 2010. You can narrow its data by selecting a specific movie, like 10 Things I Hate About You. Words are categorized as neutral, positive, and negative. You can also narrow down by genre or year. Now that you know the number of times good was said in horror movies from 2009, apply your burgeoning number expertise to Numberium. The goal of this game is to reach the finish position, but you need to calculate your moves so that they equal the number in the end block. Every time you move to a blank square, you add one. This includes the move to the last number. You'll also come along other operations as you go. When you complete it successfully, you'll be shown a display of flashing colors as vibrant as these well-dressed people on Dress Code, the game, which is a simple pattern game. Type in your detective name here and get to work. A lineup of these guys will let you know what you're working with. When you discover the pattern, select the two that fit it and see if you pass. Haha, <laughs> yes, I got in. This episode is brought to you by an educational dong. Skillshare, an online community where experts help you improve and gain skills via more than 17,000 classes, like this one on using Lumetri to make better looking videos that I'm going through. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month, but the first 200 people to use the link in this video's description will get their first two months free. Not bad. Stay curious, keep learning, and as always, thanks for watching.